how to make videos as an introvert. During this video, we will cover topics that make introverts feel like they are in hell. We're gonna talk about how to act natural on camera. We will talk about how to speak in public. Oh my God, it's getting worse. We will talk about how to include other humans in your videos. And last but not least, our mind is exploding. How to pitch your creative idea to a business or company. Since every introvert is different, you can just cherry pick advice you find helpful today and ignore everything you don't relate to. So let's get started. Guys, please let me know in the comment box below if you would consider yourself an introvert or not and what's your biggest fear in general. First, how to act natural on camera. Lots of introverts struggle with that, including me. Um, it feels weird to talk to a camera, but the main mistake people do is by looking into a camera and thinking you are addressing a room full of people. That's not how you should approach your videos. Every time I talk to a camera, I imagine I'm talking to my best friend and I imagine I haven't seen her in years. Today is the first day I'm going to meet her again after a very, very long time. And this will make me super excited to talk to the camera and I will have energy for this. So it makes everything a little bit less awkward and it really, really helps a lot to have a focus point. Stop overthinking it. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Um, the way I look at it is, for example, when I go out in public and I want to film myself, I feel super embarrassed, but I also think like, all right, um, this tiny little bit of embarrassment will not last longer than the content that I create. So the content that I will create will be so much more meaningful, so much more moving to my audience that it is worth it to go through this little bit of embarrassment right now. But most importantly are the three P's. Practice, practice, practice. How can we practice? As introverts, we tend to be quiet, but it doesn't mean that we have nothing to say. There are some great practices out there, and for me, it was a mix of everything. These things like really helped me to be more confident and also natural on camera. So please, please listen, because this is so, so important. I know it's painful, but it basically boosted my self-confidence a lot. So one of the things is I attended communication classes and Toastmasters, for example, is a non-for-profit. They have courses all over the world. They also do online classes and it's basically for free. So you can just register and they will really push you. There are speakers that give talks at TED events or are just naturally really good speakers. And it really, really helps to push yourself through a schedule. I would definitely recommend it. And from the bottom of my heart, please go out there, try to attend some speaking classes. It doesn't have to be Toastmasters. You can also sign up for a theater course at your school or a communication class at your workplace. It doesn't matter, but it's really important to push yourself and to have a schedule for that. Something that actors use is the mirror. So what they do is they look into the mirror, they talk to themselves and they can see themselves and they will learn like, I don't have these emotions in my face that I thought I have. So you can really see yourself, practice talking in front of a mirror. I know it might feel weird and it's a little bit awkward to talk to yourself in a mirror, but it really, really helps actors use this as their routine and it will also help you to feel get used to see yourself. But our best friend is still the camera. So what I want you to do is take your phone, Record yourself every single day when you wake up and try speaking. You can read the first sentences of the newspaper article or you can just talk about how your day went. At the end of the day, you will watch this video and you will realize, oh my God, I don't really talk engaging or I don't talk charismatic. Then you can see like, what are your flaws? What are your strengths? And you will be able to work on that. Try to implement this in your daily routine and you will really see progress after a while. Attend speaking classes, talk to a mirror and last but not least, record yourself with your phone or a camera and see what you can improve day by day. 
Most introverts try to avoid filming in public because we are afraid of other people's looks and judgments when they see us talking to a camera. But as we are all here to make better videos, filming in public will be a part of your filming routine at some point. It might be vlogging, interviewing others or recording yourself in front of an important site. So when I say vlogging in public, most people will have this picture in their head and to be honest, by just looking at it, I panic, I freak out. This girl with her pretty head and this huge camera is like the center of attention wherever she goes and this exactly symbolizes every introvert's nightmare. In fact, vlogging can look like this, but it doesn't have to. When I feel very uncomfortable in public, I tend to use my phone when it comes to vlogging, which is totally fine most of the time. It's all about getting used to it first. After some practice, I started to use my small GoPro for vlogging and eventually you will be comfortable to have this whole setup. Don't have the illusion that you have to look like this girl to be a good content creator. If you are too uncomfortable speaking in public in front of other people, use a quiet place and an early time to do your shooting. I love waking up early because I know that I will have a lot of time for myself when I'm outside and I will have all the space for myself. Try vlogging with your friends and ask them to help you out when filming in a public space. One of the areas where like discomfort comes from is like you don't want to be that guy or girl holding the camera in front of their face looking like a weirdo where no one else understands what you are doing. To ease that feeling, it can really really help to have someone around you who you care about and trust. It really will make it easier and more fun as well. It's always good to have a friend with you. Think before recording. Most of the nervousness comes from having the thought of losing track or having a blackout, not knowing what to say when you are on the spot. If you just have an outline of what you want to say, it will make filming public a lot more comfortable and you will be more confident on your topic as well. Number three. How to include other people in your video. There's no doubt that your videos will be more interesting when they include other people. So how on this earth am I as an introvert supposed to approach other human beings? When I first started making videos, I was avoiding filming other people as much as I could. But after a while, it became not only really fun, but also life-changing for me to include other people. The first step is to use your friends and film someone who supports your creative idea. It is as simple as that. You'll realize that the person will mostly enjoy being part of your video and you will share great memories together as well. Also your viewers don't necessarily know that you are filming a friend so they can play basically every role in your videos how you need it. To go a step further, use the power of social media and connect with your followers or other content creators. This is especially helpful when traveling because most of the time I will not have my friends around me. So what I do is I use Instagram and I look for the hashtag video maker as something related and I filter the location where I am. And then I just reach out to the creator and I say something like, hey, I saw that you're also a video maker and you are around this place. What do you think of helping each other out and making a video together? You will be surprised how much positive feedback you will get and it's much easier to meet new people and include them in your videos when you meet up. If you want to go more in depth in your video, you should definitely reach out to other people and ask for an interview. This will give you a lot of practice and the focus will lie more on the interviewee than on you. As an introvert, this is great. We love to listen and we're really good at asking a lot of questions instead of talking. So this is definitely a game changer. And what helped me a lot was to talk about my video making with strangers. When others understand what you're doing, it will feel less awkward to film in front of them. No matter if you just met them for a day or two, start a conversation about your YouTube channel or about your videos. Number four, how to pitch your creative idea to a business or company. I'm sure that everyone in their video career at some point will deal with other businesses and eventually you will make videos for others. It can be a review, a commercial or some product advertisement. Let's ask ourselves, how can we as introverts approach other businesses? Nothing's gonna happen if you don't take action and reach out to them. 
I film commercials for hotels and the way I feel most comfortable approaching them is by texting on social media. I send them a friendly text, they can directly see my portfolio on my Instagram account and also the person who is in charge for marketing will most probably be in charge for social media as well. Whatever you do and whatever is your niche, make sure you have a portfolio that showcases the best work of yours. It will make the communication so much easier because you can give example videos and you can always refer to your portfolio. This will boost your self-confidence and also it's amazing to see all of your accomplishments all in one place. I know this is very hard for everyone, but Getting out of your comfort zone is the best thing you can do to grow. Don't do anything that puts you under extreme pressure, but it's so, so important to gather experience first and start with local businesses and do it for free. Then you can step up your game from there. You don't have to go all in right away. Some of my biggest professional successes have come from pitching something I did for free. I feel most comfortable pitching when I'm offering something win-win and when the other party will benefit from accepting the offer more than I will. The more experiences I've had of successfully pitching, the more comfortable I've become with it. And the more you practice, the easier it will get. Practice being an extrovert. There's no reason for an introvert to force themselves to become an extrovert and it probably wouldn't work anyway. But what you can do is to take note of the extroverted personality traits you admire. Then work on developing them more and after a lot of practice you will be surprised how easy it can be to film in public, talk to strangers or even work for other businesses. If you consider something important, introverts are capable of the same things like extroverts, we just deal with it in a different way and that's totally okay. Just don't forget that everyone has different strengths. Nastaly, for example, is really good at including other people in his videos and telling stories about humans. Casey Neistat is really good at vlogging and talking spontaneously into the camera because that is his strength. Just because these two are successful with that, doesn't mean that you should copy them. Think about what's your strength, what are you good at and what's your passion. I'm an introvert and it's totally okay to be introverted. Being an introvert is not a weakness. The game changer is to understand how to deal with it instead of trying to change your personality. Use your introverted skill set and look at it like your superpower. Don't hide, go out there and show everyone that introverts can just make as amazing videos as everyone else by having these best practices in mind we just talked about. All right, I think that's it. Thank you all so much for listening. I hope you got something valuable out of this video. Um, please let me know what's your biggest fear as an introvert and I'll see you the next time. Bye. This is not only an experiment. This is also an act of torture. Or who knows, maybe I will set free my inner musician that never had the chance to see the light of this world. I can already tell you that this was not the case, but nevertheless let me show you my attempt on learning an instrument within the next 24 hours.